that, so just be prepared. If you will take a minute and just close your eyes and think back to your childhood, be it now or then, and imagine that you're on your favorite carnival ride. That may be the Ferris wheel or whatever, but for many people, it's the tilt. <laughs> imagine that you were on that tilt world constantly over and over and over again and you start to get that little sick feeling in the pit of your stomach like you got like you're just gonna lose it all you're gonna lose that fun funnel cake you're gonna lose the nachos you're gonna lose everything I feel like that all the time well this is about a not so silent demon that does live inside of all of us unfortunately it has hit me at a young age it is called Meniere's disease. And what it is, is that it dis it's a disorder of the inner ear, which causes excess fluid to grow behind your, to, to build up behind your eardrums. Some of the symptoms include tinnitus, which of course is a ringing of the ears. If you have that constantly, you're, you always have that feeling that that you're basically perform okay. got it. basically like feedback from a microphone or speaker system. Thank you. I just remember that. And it also can fluctuate, which also wreaks havoc on hearing loss or in my case gain. I don't understand it for whatever reason. And the little sound from the booth, my hearing is considered normal. This is not a soundproof booth, this is the real world. I can barely hear anything. But I make the best of it. I do not let these struggles overcome me. Another key factor in this disease is vertigo, which I'm sure y'all have all experienced that, hence my little saying to the tilt of roll. Sometimes people with this get it so bad they're placing porcelain hot for hours on end. Thankfully, I haven't had one of them episodes later. I haven't had any of those episodes lately. But because of the vertigo itself, it often leaves me with a feeling of imbalance, which is why you see me swaying so bad up here right now. Some of it's anxiety, but most of it's the manures. That's why I call it, amongst my friends and everybody else, I laughingly call it my drunken stupor. <laughs> you try to walk a straight line. I can only wait for the day that a cop comes up to me and says, how much are you having to drink? Uh, I don't know, off the perch. <laughs> I don't know. There are several methods of treatment for this, but unfortunately there is not a cure as of yet. There are several medical options that include up to and include surgery which I have had some of the surgical surgical options that are available but not all of them I used to be a very active person and still consider myself to be one somewhat but I had to take a step back and start thinking about my health and safety so I was introduced to these poetry and music open mics by a good friend about a year and a half ago. And this environment is literally what keeps me sane and what gets me fighting through all of this. Unfortunately, I may not be able to un fully understand a poet's words or a musician's lyrics, but it does not stop me from having a good time. It gives me, a, you guys, every single one of you out there, music, poets, friends in general, give me a reason to push forward. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to educate you. Yes, there is, there is something out there. It is a rare disorder, especially amongst young people. It goes along with the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, because most of the time, I do look like I'm drunk. And depending on who I'm with, I'll laugh it off. And if somebody that I don't like goes with that, then you're going to get a quick education from me about what this truly is. If you, don't, if you listen to it, fine. If you don't, you're ignorant bastard.
If if anyone here would like more information about it, please feel free to come speak to me about it. I have several web resources. I'm also a member of an online support group. And also you can check out WebMD or items like that via the web. And also if anyone's interested, I have a, I happen to have a copy with me. There was just a feature about it in Oprah's latest uh, July issue of her magazine. So it is becoming more widely known, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to educate educate people about it. It is there, as unfortunate as it is, but try to live as normal life as possible, which sometimes may not work. I myself am having to go through some more um, balance therapy right now, which unfortunately is a last is a last resort before more surgery. So knock on wood, this therapy will help. We won't know for quite a while. But I just wanted to thank each and every one of you, especially my good friends, Andrew and Jen, for being there for me as a support system and getting me out there, even though I may not be feeling well. They, Everybody knows and understands about my condition, and I wanted to pass the buck on to all of you and let you know about it. Yeah.